This video explains how to modify the space between group box plots using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to five of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set called data is appearing and we can click on this data set to open a new window, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains three columns. The first column is our main group indicator. The second column is our subgroup indicator. And the third column contains random numeric values. Now, in this example, I will draw our grouped box plot based on the ggplot2 package. And for that reason, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines seven and eight of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line eight of the code. And then in the next step, we can draw a grouped box plot based on the ggplot and geom box plot functions, as you can see in lines 10 to 14 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see that a grouped box plot is appearing at the bottom right of our studio. And as you can see, the spaces between the boxes within the main groups are relatively small. However, the spaces between the main groups are relatively large. So let's assume that we want to change those spaces. So in the next example, I'm going to specify the position argument to be equal to the character string dodge. So after running lines 16 to 20 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that the spaces between our main groups have been changed. So in this case, no spaces are shown between the boxes of the main groups. However, the spaces between those main groups are kept. So in this example, I have explained how to remove the spaces between the subgroup boxes using the position argument within the geomboxplot function. However, it's also possible to change all the spaces of our box plot based once again on the geomboxplot function, as you can see in lines 22 to 26 of the code. However, this time I'm using the position dodge function and I'm setting this function to be equal to the position argument. And within the position dodge function, I'm specifying the value one. So after running lines 22 to 26 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And this time we have changed the space between all boxes to be equal. So the spaces between the main groups are the same as the spaces between the subgroups. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.